a painting created in tribute to the Columbia astronauts was unveiled for family members at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington this week. The painting is part of NASA's fine arts collection. Yes, NASA has a fine arts collection. More from Skip Lozier. Yeah, boost to ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia. Columbia soared into space a little more than a year ago, no one even worrying about how the mission would end. For more than 40 years, NASA has chronicled its accomplishments and failures, not just with words, but with paintings and music as well. The idea was that art can provide a legacy for future generations and that the space age would be a historical time period. The latest addition to NASA's collection is entitled Columbia Tribute. It joins about 800 works the space agency has commissioned since 1976 alone. Artist Barbara Prey created this work to honor the seven astronauts who died when Columbia broke up. I tried to make it just a positive, a celebration of the lives of the astronauts because that's what it is. Um, they were amazing people and they followed their dream. In the past, artists, including the likes of Norman Rockwell, contributed to NASA's fine arts program. Why not think of art when you think of the space age for future generations? NASA spends roughly $65,000 a year on the program. The works can be seen on tour and at various NASA centers.